an $80 melee weapon. A $100 weapon camo. Skill-based matchmaking in public matches and a hidden MMR in ranked play. Cheaters out the ass while innocent people get banned for no reason. They out here marketing to children in a so-called adults game and we got the absolute worst servers in all of online FPS shooting games. Call of Duty should really be ashamed of themselves. They went from being the game that we all used to love into being the game that we love to hate because it just ain't nothing else to play and they ruined what used to be a good thing. You should really be ashamed of yourself. Mastering the art of selling more copies of your video game than any other franchise, but being dead last on the list of the games that people actually play. How's that possible? How can after making billions of dollars with the game, how can you still be so greedy as to charge $80 for a melee weapon, $100 for a goddamn camo from Sledgehammer's 2017 World War II game? How do you sleep at night taking advantage of people using match rigging algorithms and shit to try to encourage them to spend money in the store? giving them so-called rewards for spending a hundred dollars in a stove. Fuck spending a hundred dollars in a stove. The goddamn game only costs seventy dollars. Only a fool would sit up there and spend a hundred dollars in the goddamn stove to get a fucking camo. Would spend eighty dollars buying King Kong bundles just to get a fucking melee weapon. Fuck King Kong. Should be ashamed of themselves. Bringing all this shit that ain't got nothing to do with Call of Duty in to call the duty. Huh? Talk to me in the comment section. Am I tripping? Or do I need to calm the fuck down? Let me pipe it down a little bit. Oh man, how the fuck y'all feel about this shit? If it ain't one thing, it's another one, right? If it wasn't the SBMM that ran you off from the game, it, it was the cheaters. And if it wasn't the cheaters and SBMM that ran you off from the game, it's the shitty ass connection. Why does the connection to the lobbies Keep getting worse as more time goes on. Don't you son of a blood clot bitches make at least five billion dollars a year on this motherfucking game? You should be ashamed of yourselves. Innocent people out here getting permabanned. Permabanned, I know people personally who do not cheat, who have been permabanned in the game, but yet still, even though they got all these band waves going on, you got all these cheaters out here. Because guess what? At the end of the day, Ricochet really ain't about shit. <laughs> By the time Ricochet catch up with somebody, they've been cheating for a long ass time. And guess what? It don't take very long for them to make a new account, turn around, push a couple of buttons, do a couple things, and be right back on the game. It's free to play. Ricochet trying to handle the cheating problem is like an old man getting up in the middle of the night in the projects going in the kitchen in his house shoes, turning on the light and trying to stomp away his roach infestation. You might stomp a few of them, but you ain't gonna never get rid of the problem. How the fuck can't you handle this? Other games don't have problems like this with these cheaters. Why does Call of Duty have the worst problem? You make more money than anybody else. Why do you have the worst servers? You make more money than anybody else. I don't understand how this is fucking legal. But you know, we sit up there and we buy into it. We allow them to do this because we sit up here with our $70 waiting to give it to them every year like we didn't just get fucked over for the past five years. Huh? Y'all enjoying the algorithm out here? Probably not. Should be ashamed of themselves. People used to be able to play the game and have fun and let off some stress. Now you play the game, it adds more stress to you you're having anything but fun out here in a video game which is supposed to be what? Fun. You should be ashamed. Got people out here who fell in love with Call of Duty multiplayer years ago. Now all they can play is zombies or DMZ. You should be ashamed of yourself. That's not what they really want to play. It's just that the algorithm that sucked all the fun out of the game. And then you're out here losing players to games like Helldiver. Hell Diver, a PVE game? 
How the fuck do you lose people who fell in love with PvP? You're sending them back to PvE? You should be ashamed of yourselves. Call of Duty used to be a vibe. But then Fortnite came out, and you wanted to be Fortnite. Now Call of Duty ain't even recognizable with all of these pussycats, pigeons, ducks, monkeys. What happened to the vibe in Call of Duty? You sold your soul for the money. You should be ashamed of yourself. And we should be ashamed of ourselves for still supporting this franchise, huh? Because if it wasn't for the support, they would not be able to get away with this shit, would they? But what am I supposed to do? What are you supposed to do? What are we supposed to do when there is nothing else to play? Hell, the gaming industry should be ashamed of themselves for not bringing no real competition to Call of Duty. How the fuck does the entire gaming industry sit up there and leave the Call of Duty formula untouched? They make games on all type of other styles except Call of Duty. Leaving the door wide open for Call of Duty to treat us any kind of way they want to because they know that we don't have nowhere else to go. A lot of people thought that ranked play was going to be a better experience than pubs because pubs been ruined with SBMM, but even ranked play is fucked because they got a hidden MMR in ranked play just like in public matches. So it doesn't matter where you go out here, the Call of Duty experience has been ruined. Hell, even if you like zombies, zombies ain't the same no more. What is this open world zombies bullshit? Even if you like the DMZ, DMZ don't exist no more because they made DMZ zombies. It's just a fucked up situation, ain't it? Call of Duty had a good goddamn thing and they ruined it. What an embarrassment. All of the leadership at COD should be embarrassed. I'm ashamed of you fools. And the worst part about it is this shit is still going on. They still are continuing to do the same shit that ruined it in the first place. It's still going on out here. The spawns are still shitty. And what's what the worst part is about that, the shitty spawns ruining multiplayer as well. I ain't even touch on that. The shitty spawns are done on purpose. They're on purpose. Remember when the beta came out and the spawns was a little off and people like Exclusive Ace gave some input on how to fix the spawns and they addressed it and they said, hey, we, well, we're going to work on the spawns and then they started working on it and the motherfuckers got worse. You know, and then they worked on them again and they got worse. It's clear now that it's fully intentional that the game has shitty, unpredictable spawns to prevent you and you from popping off. They want everybody with an even Steven experience out here. They want the shitters to have just as so much as an opportunity to kill you as you do of killing them. So they do that type of shit on purpose. And shit like that, you should be ashamed of, motherfucker. Where is the goddamn integrity in the game? This used to be the NBA. Now, this shit is a basketball game at the carnival. It's rigged, and you should stay far away from it. Spend your money on some cotton candy and some goddamn candy apples. Stay away from the rigged fucking games trying to get a bath. You ain't gonna never get it. Call of Duty should be ashamed. Just like the drunk carnival ride operator with tracks up and down his arms. But I'm out of time, man. How let your boy in the comment section. How the fuck you feel about this shit? Am I tripping? It's the murder show, baby. Fuck with me. And if you enjoyed the video, be sure to pimp slap the piss out the like button for your boy. Leave me a comment. And be sure to hit that motherfucker subscribe button and don't miss none of this Call of Duty real shit. It's the murder show. Fuck with me.